Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can run uh, X Windows applications using Windows Subsystem for Linux. Uh, so the the app we're going to be using in this in this video is uh, just xclock, uh, which is kind of the standard uh, test to make sure I have X Windows uh, set up program. Uh, it is a use, usable clock, uh, but it, most often it's used because it's a pretty lightweight app uh, that'll just show you if you have uh, X Windows set up correctly. So I'm gonna just try to run that here in my Windows Subsystem for Linux uh, setup, uh, and it tells me that X clock is not found. Uh, so I actually haven't set up any X11 apps in in this environment. So uh, let's just do the command that it says. We'll sudo apt install x11 apps, type my password, do you want to continue, yes that looks reasonable, and in just a minute here it will have installed uh, x11 apps and its dependencies and then we'll try running X clock again. All right, so now let's try running X, X clock again. Now we get error can't open display. Now, the reason that we get this is because there isn't actually uh, an X server running in this environment. Um, and this is uh, kind of a, a byproduct of the way that X works. So X, X11 is actually a client server app. In this, in this case, X clock is the client. It runs all the, the logic for the program and then uh, tells the server what to draw on the screen. So the X server is actually responsible for drawing things on the screen. Uh, and if there is no server, uh, if it doesn't know how to connect to the server, uh, then it, it gives you this error, can't open display. Uh, so let's let's find a way to, to run a display. Uh, I've used a couple different uh, X servers for Windows before, but in this case, uh, I'm just gonna pull up a program that I've started using uh, probably about a year ago. Uh, I, I think it's pronounced MOBAX term. I've heard it pronounced MOBAX term as well, but I think it's MOBAX term. And we'll just go, uh, This you get this by default when you install uh, MOBAX term. It, it detects your WSL uh, instances. So I'm just going to double click WSL-Ubuntu, which is my WSL instance. It says your display is set to 192.168.03.0.0 up here in this header, uh, which indicates that it is using the X server and has provided that, that display setting for me. So now when I run X clock, it should appear. And there we go. And this is a window. Uh, I can resize it, I can drag it around. I can minimize it. It is a full Windows window, and you can see it even shows up in the Windows taskbar. So that's a really convenient way to work with Linux and write X11 apps through WSL on your Windows system. You could even combine it with um, using Visual Studio Code for editing. Uh, I have a video that I'll leave in the description on setting up uh, an environment using Visual Studio Code. That's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, leave a comment if you have other tips and tricks uh, that you use either with WSL or with X11 apps. And be sure to share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching.